Hello and thank you for choosing to use Glenair 3D Parts. Uh, what we're going to do now is a very short video tutorial to show you how to get the best use of our 3D Parts download website. Uh, first of all, uh, what's the best way to find the part that you're looking for? There's several ways of achieving that. You can follow the directory links or the quick links as we call them, uh, which gives you uh, a very rapid way of finding some of the most popular parts that we have on our site. For instance, the Mighty Mouse connectors, you see the three different series that we currently have uploaded. So if I want to look at series 804 Mighty Mouse, that then gives me that range of parts and I can further refine my search down the left hand side using the selection buttons. So I'm looking for the series 804 006, click on that and I'm looking for a shell size 9. That then refines my choice down to one and we can look at the detail of that and you can see it gives you the preview of the part there that we're looking for uh, and that's the data of the part here on this tab that we're seeing now also the downloads tab allows you to download the part that you found in a myriad of different CAD formats and then finally the documents tab gives you access to quick links through to the glenair.com website giving you all the data on the part that you've chosen to have a look at if you need any more information. The second way is to use the part number search using the search bar. So for instance we could look for MWDM part numbers which is the prefix of many of our microD connectors and that brings you up 216 results and then again we can further refine our choice using uh, the selections on the left hand side of the screen so I'm looking for a pin connector and I want a 15 way micro so it narrows it down to a choice of four so I'll go with that one and again we can see it gives you a preview of the connector with the three different tabs the data about the connector the download option in the different formats and the documents again will take you through to uh, the glenair.com website giving you all the data that you need about the connector that you've chosen to look at and the final search option is um, the down select tool so again we can use uh, start with our search here so we're interested in connector accessories we want to look at back shells and I want to look at a rectangular back shell and that gives me all the different rectangular back shells that we have uploaded onto our site and again you can use the refine functions down the left hand side uh, to narrow down your search and finally if you are struggling and you can't find the model that you want then we're here to help we have a team of people standing by uh, to get the model that you need for your application so if you click on uh, contact us at any point at different points of the site that will bring you up this help form and you can type your message in there uh, to ask us to provide you with a model that you you need for your application. Once you've decided exactly which model it is you want to download, you click on that, go to the Downloads tab, and I'm going to go for a step file. And you can see the green bar there tells us that download is processing. Please check your download section, which is at the top of the screen, so we can view that. Here's a part that I downloaded earlier on, and you can see the link still exists there that I can download that again if I wish. This particular part that we've chosen now, the Series 806 connector, uh, is in progress. So the download is now complete. I can click on the link. It creates a little zip folder for me. You can see in there we have the step file of the part that I requested, the Series 806 connector. So as you can see, we've now downloaded the part that we need, and that can be used in your CAD application. That concludes uh, the tutorial. If you have any further queries, please email us at 3dparts at glenair.com. Uh, or you press the contact button on any part of the website and that will send a message through to us. Thank you for your time.